It's not a head injury. It's just a bump. You didn't even put ice on, I noticed. What? I didn't see you put ice on. I did at halftime. Oh, you did? Okay. And after. You're game, tough. So it's okay. I'm not tough, actually. <laughs> I have this, like, people think I'm tough, but, like, I mean, like, I shot a couple tears. I don't know if you guys saw, so yeah. I'm not no. a hit up. I did. I, they said they heard it. I don't know. I, I like, whacked out or something. So. <laughs> it's that whiplash effect. Yeah. Was it loud? Yeah. yeah. And it, on the replay, like, your hand bounced. Yeah, quiet. it bounced. I felt that. Yeah, I felt that. I mean, quiet. what's your... When you're laying on the ground there, what's running through your head? Pain? Ouch, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's it. Yeah, just pain. Okay, as you look back at kind of the last year and a half specifically, as you guys sort of started getting recognized more and more on a national level, are there moments that stand out where you're like, this feels different than it was before? Yeah, I would say so. Um, what are those moments that stand out? Yeah, I think like all the cameras that are around all the time, that's just different. Like, I even more like even outside of basketball just being in the grocery store walking on the street like I was in my in a car today and somebody at the stoplight is like ah you know <laughs> waving so I think just like little moments like that but I feel like that's more of a testament to just like how loyal and good our fans are and so I think it's just really cool more than anything but I don't know there's definitely a lot of moments and a lot of them aren't even on the basketball court so it, it's really cool and I've been cherishing all of that because Pretty soon, I'm not gonna be in these moments. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be just a regular old Joe Schmo. So, whatever. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> How often is the thought across your head that if you didn't tear your ACL your uh -huh. freshman year, you wouldn't be here this yeah. year? Yeah. It just it just really tells you that everything happens for a reason and that uh, you know in the moment when that happened I kept saying you know why me why why is this happening but then everything happens for a reason and here I am getting an extra year and getting to play um, in front of sold out crowds every night get to play another year with Caitlin and get to play another year with Gabby and all these girls so um, it just, just kind of shows that it was all worth it and I wouldn't change it for the world. I wanted to ask you go ahead Matt just I just popped over so just yeah, about uh, a shorter. Uh, a uh, slower start. Was it rust or anything like that? Yeah. Talk about that second quarter because things came together quickly, especially on the defensive end. Yeah, I think it was definitely knocking off some rust there. Uh, they shot the ball well, and then in the second quarter, I thought we responded really well, and Gabby started denying their best player. Uh, 13, well, I, whatever, 13, and um, we only they only scored nine points in the second quarter quarter so um, I thought that was really good and the way we responded was really good and people came in off the bench and played really well but yeah I think just getting the jitters out it's March you know it was the first game we were really excited to play and so I think we forced a couple things that might not have been there but um, yeah I'm really happy with how we responded and survive in advance. Thanks Kate. Thanks sir. Thank you. I want to ask you about I mean you came here I know we talked about coming here for basketball camps and mm -hmm. all that stuff yeah. but where where did you see like how you guys play with so much joy like have you always seen that like even since you were a kid or does yeah. that is that natural yeah it, does it, I wonder, you take like, developing yeah i don't know like I, I guess i don't like when i was a kid i wasn't really looking at that yeah. aspect of it but i just think that's something that coach blue was like always instilled yeah. in her players is like she's not gonna beg for effort and attitude you know like coaches shouldn't have to beg for that that's like team-led and that's yeah. just personal drive I feel like and so I mean she does a great job of recruiting people who love basketball and want to be here and we genuinely have 14 girls who want to be here every day want to show up and play basketball and they we love each other so it, it doesn't make it like hard or anything to just play with joy and uh, you know have a smile on our face and it should be fun like it shouldn't feel like a job you should feel like you want to go out on the court and when you make a good play or your teammate makes a good play like you should want to smile and so I think that's just kind of how it is here at Iowa. Yeah like I, that clip where you have all those passes and Gabby hits the three yeah, like they yeah, show, yeah. and you're you're the one that coming down yeah, like with the most emotion yeah, and like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I yeah, think you just touched the ball the one yeah. time. You know? I think it's just like fun. Like I get more excited when my teammates do good things than you know when I do good things. It's just because I see the hard work that they put in every single day, and you know when it's paying off in a game and somebody knocks down a big shot or you know has a big rebound or gets a good stop. Like I don't know, that's just so exciting for me, and I just I feel like like a proud mom. <laughs> that's how I feel. So I don't know, it's just cool.